Dr. Jones, I'd be safer sleeping with a snake. I said, cut it out! Welcome back to Kayfabe Science, the only fake science show on the internet that thinks that feathered dinosaurs taste like chicken. I'm your host, and I'm gonna be a tit up. Yeah, that's all my eyes can see. Victory is mine, yep, yeah, surprisingly. Dr. Dave. And today's episode is the DDT. The DDT was a move used by one Jake the Snake Roberts, but it has been said to be the invention of one Black Gortman who used a move predating Jake and called it the Diamond Twist. And there have been many rumors about what DDT actually stands for, from Damien's Dinner Time to Drape Drop Takedown. But if you ask Jake Roberts himself, he simply states that it stands for the end. But when it comes to the world of science, DDT stands for dichlorum. <laughs> nope. DDT stands for dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane. But sadly, even in a science context, it also largely stands for the end as well. DDT the chemical began finding its way into the lives of Americans, growing to major popularity during the 1950s. Meant to serve as a pesticide, people would put the substance on everything from their furniture to their animals to even their children and more. Like for real, how is this not obviously a really bad idea? Now while it had previously been effective in preventing the spread of diseases like malaria, it also contributed to a whole host of extremely negative side effects, with the substance eventually being being banned. Yep, as scary as it sounds, even in kayfabe, the DDT move is nowhere near as dangerous as its real life counterpart. But on a much brighter note, let's go back to the good old days of the WWF, and let's ask ourselves, how exactly does one drop a double D on a T like a snake? Well, it all has to do with getting inside your opponent's head. Because not only is Jake one of the very best masters of ring psychology, but his finishing maneuver is also something that stays in your skull for quite some time. Kinda like that dream I had where I was eating a bowl of spaghetti and it turned into a bowl of snakes. Continuing with head trauma, Jake manages to deliver his favorite drop better than most as his does serve as a legit finisher, while many others can barely get a two count out of it. Jake's mastery starts by holding his opponent's head up for a fall, holding it down, allowing blood to collect in the cabeza. He then chokes up on the neck, trapping all the excess fluid full on in the skull region. But this is nothing to blush at, since he then follows this up with a backwards fall, making his victim land on their blood-filled face. This action, like popping a pimple, leads to much more damage as the overfilled dam that is his opponent's head avalanches straight down onto the canvas. Oh, and also, let's not forget about this little extra touch that Jake does in order to give gravity a little extra push, by always remembering to incorporate this back slap into his maneuver. By using his other hand, this pushes even more pressure down onto his opponent, almost like burping a baby, but like in a really bad, violent kind of way. You know what, never mind, it's nothing like burping a baby. Just, just don't burp your baby like this. And also, it's this little pat on the back that pushes opponents down towards the floor at an even faster rate than mere gravity can do alone. And when it's all said and done, by combining an overloaded skull while hitting it from the back, the DDT makes sure that all of Jake's foes definitely go down for the count. So there you have it, the science behind the dangers of the DDT, both the chemical and the wrestling move. And now that you know, perhaps DDT really stands for don't do this as in don't do this at home because both really dangerous. <laughs> 